Cheddar Gorge at the southwestern part of the Mendip Hills in England is such a lovely place to explore. To approach the village of Cheddar, located at the foot of the meandering deep limestone gorge, we drove down the twisty turny road which has steep rocky sides and a very rugged appearance. Right through the village centre briskly flows the river called the Cheddar Yo, which escapes out from beneath the rocks just above the village having flowed underground for many kilometres. Hi, I'm Warren Brand and welcome to another Linley's video. I'm out today with my wife visiting Cheddar and plan to explore the ridge paths all the way round Cheddar Gorge using a route which should take us just a few hours. To begin with, we start off with a coffee and a piece of cake in one of the many cafes. I even bought a few bottles of local beer to take home for later enjoyment. Leaving the centre of the village behind, we walk along the side of the Cheddar Yo to pick up the rising path from Lipiat on the southern edge of the village. The path goes up directly to the summit through the wooded area up to where the old tower stands on the first piece of high ground overlooking the village below. This metal one replaced the original wooden structure. Having seen the challenge of the Jacob's Ladder Steps, I just had to take a quick dash down and back up again to record the fact I've done it. This direct ascent up from the village via these steps dates back to about 1900 when a local entrepreneur built them and the tower following the increased popularity in the village brought on by the railway.
Moving on up and heading around the southeastern rim of the gorge, we could see right down into the bottom where the cars drive up and down. The view back over Cheddar and the round reservoir became clear as we gained more height. The gorge was formed over 1.2 million years ago as Ice Age meltwater cut down through the rock. The steep rocky sides are popular for climbers. There are hundreds of recognised climbing routes on both the north and the south cliff walls. Having trekked along the southeastern ridge path, we dipped down a little to cross the road at Black Rock. Continuing the route around, we followed the rising path on the northern side of the road to take us back around to the other side of the gorge. The views looking over to the cliff tops where we were just before are impressive, although we can't see down into the bottom of the gorge from this side. An undisclosed location, locally hereabouts, was the resting place for some poor soul who died over 9,000 years ago. Their remains were found in 1903, now called the Cheddar Man, are the oldest known complete skeleton to have been found. This 
This area has been occupied for thousands of years and even as far back as 12,000 years. The Romans are relatively modern in comparison. On our way down, we stopped to take a look at a shallow, rounded cave. I don't know how natural the cave is, or whether it's been carved out by hand or by water erosion. We're almost back down to the village, but we have one or two more features to look at along the way. At the end of this video, there are links to others which you may be interested in watching as well. Please do take a look if you have some time. Back in the village, we had time to look around the old dam and water ponds as we walked back down to the car. The sight of the White Heart encouraged us to stop for a quick drink before we followed the meandering road back up the gorge. This time as we look up at the cliffs we can say We've been up there. Thanks for watching and bye for now.